SEO254 adds the ability to mark subscripts as being static, which means they apply to types rather than instances of types. Static properties and methods are used when one set of values is shared between all instances of a type. For example, if you had one centralized type to store your app settings, you might write code like this. Public enum all settings. Private static var values equals a string string dictionary. Static front get name string returns optional string return values name static func set name string to new value optional string print adjusting name to new value nil coalescing nil values name equals new value. We could then say all settings dot set captain to Gary and all settings dot set friend to mooncake. Finally we could say print all settings dot get captain nil coalescing unknown. Wrapping the dictionary inside a type means we can control access more carefully. And using an enum with no cases means we can't try to instantiate the type. We can't make a unique instance of settings. With Swift 5.1, we can now use a static subscript instead, allowing us to rewrite our code to this. Public enum new settings, private static var values equals a string string dictionary, public static subscript, name string returns optional string get return values name set print adjusting name to new value nil coalescing nil values name equals new value. Then new settings captain equals Gary. Or new settings friend equals mooncake. Print new settings captain nil coalescing unknown. Custom subscripts like this have always been possible for instances of types. This improvement makes static or class subscripts possible too.